Standard precautions are infection control guidelines that are used in hospitals to reduce the spread of pathogens between patients and healthcare workers. This includes protection from blood, body fluids, non-intact skin, and mucous membranes. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, standard precautions are a set of infection control guidelines designed to reduce the transmission of harmful microorganisms. By adhering to these guidelines, healthcare professionals can help protect themselves, their patients, and the general public from the spread of disease. The primary components of standard precautions include Number 1. Hand hygiene Number 2. Personal protective equipment Number 3. Patient care equipment Number 4. Needle stick and sharps injury prevention And Number 5. Patient placement Hand hygiene is perhaps the most important aspect of standard precautions. Healthcare workers must clean their hands before and after every patient interaction, as well as after any contact with blood, body fluids, or contaminated surfaces. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers are typically used for routine hand hygiene, while soap and water must be used when the hands are visibly soiled or contaminated. Personal protective equipment, aka PPE, is another key component of standard precautions. This includes items such as number one, gloves, number two, gowns, number three, masks, number four, face shields, and number five, eye protection. Healthcare workers must use PPE when they are in close contact with patients or when they are performing any procedures that could expose them to blood or body fluids. For example, clean gloves must be worn between tasks and procedures, and they must be changed if they become contaminated. Masks, eye protection, and face shields must also be worn when performing certain procedures to prevent sprays and splashes of body fluids from contacting the mucous membranes of the eyes, nose, or mouth. Gowns must be worn when contact with blood or body fluids is likely in order to prevent soiling of clothing during patient care procedures. If the gown is contaminated, it must be removed and replaced with a clean one. All patient care equipment must be cleaned and disinfected between patients to prevent the spread of infection. This includes items such as stethoscopes, pulse oximeters, blood pressure cuffs, and thermometers. Reusable equipment should not be used on another patient until it has been properly cleaned and disinfected. Single-use equipment, such as small-volume nebulizers, must be disposed of after each use. All healthcare workers must be cautious when handling needles and other sharp objects to prevent accidental needle stick injuries. This includes using proper disposal techniques and wearing gloves when handling sharp objects. All disposable syringes and sharps must be placed in a puncture-resistant container for disposal. In some cases, patients with certain infectious diseases may need to be isolated in a private room to prevent the spread of infection. Contact precautions which require the use of gloves and gowns when entering the room may also be necessary. Airborne precautions which involve using an N95 mask and negative pressure room must be used for patients with airborne infections. Standard precautions are a key part of infection control and play an important role in preventing the spread of disease. By adhering to these guidelines, healthcare workers can help keep themselves, their patients, and the general public safe. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.